Today's stage three, we're beginning in Elkford, British Columbia, finishing at Etherington Creek Campground in Alberta's Kananaskis country. The stage is 139 kilometers long. They're climbing up over the highest drivable point in Canada. It's long miles, but one big climb, followed by a long pavement descent. So it's a great ride for the riders today. Uh, due to the fires, we've kind of had a change of plans for the first three stages here. So we've ended up with a couple long, I guess a little bit untypical maybe stages, a lot of gravel road. It's just, you know, the road parts, it's not the best part of mountain biking, you know, so. But that's just, we're back on course now. So but yeah, once we get back on course, hopefully we'll be getting back into the beautiful trails that are available here in, uh, in uh, Alberta and BC. After riding long stretches of gravel roads, the single track in the Kananaskis will be a welcome reprieve for the riders. Locked in almost identical overall times and riding neck and neck for the first three stages, two masters teams show the spirit of Trans Rockies. Eric Crow uh, didn't see the, the turn and he went down the hill. So uh, we're waiting for him because uh, we have a really close race in the masters categories and we don't want to uh, take some advantage uh, of this mistake. I could have done the same and uh, I hope that if I do, uh, they'll do the same. Very impressed. This is very sportsmanlike. I really appreciate this. We're nine seconds apart on the uh, Masters category, and these guys are waiting for us. Uh, our guy took the wrong turn. Incredible. It's just an awesome day to be out here in this uh, in this part of the world. Very enjoyable. Shifting's all dialed in. Chain's lubed. Wheels are clean, the frame's clean. On to the next one. Traveling along with this wilderness road show is a team of bike service techs to fix all your mechanical problems. Here's our expo area. It's a place where all our service partners have their booths. They make a technical service for all the riders and they check every bike every day. Every day it's at least shifting lube and adjust the brakes and uh, I get better service from these guys than I do probably my local bike shop. We're working on pr about 150 bikes a day. You know, almost all of the competitors are bringing in for touch-ups, tune-ups. Today we're running eight guys from sort of all, all assorted service providers with the late nights working till midnight, 12 o'clock starting again at 6, it's really important to have fresh bodies that can burn the mechanics up pretty quick. Uh, probably we've used 15, 16 guys through the course of the week. The guys that own these bikes have been so gracious too, they've been uh, you know, really thankful and that's, uh, that always makes a job like this so much more uh, you know, satisfactory. These guys are fantastic, they're godsend. I, the bike's been in every single night with just something small every single night. And, and they fixed it and, uh, and the price is right. They just pretty much write down what you need done and uh, you're paying cost on parts. That's basically it. You, put, you see them putting in the days, the long days. I think some of them have longer and harder days than we do. So I, I wouldn't know what we would have done if they would have said, hey, this is too much, we are leaving. And they worked till 2 or 3 o'clock in the night, in the morning. And, 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 uh, but they didn't give up and they supported us to the very end and we are very, very grateful for that. Yeah, it's been good though. We've had a good time and we've been through a lot of parts and a lot of lube and we'll be back again next year, I'm sure of it. It's been really good. Until now, it's very, very hard. I hadn't expected that, that it's so hard. It's starting to look like Team Adidas are going to be unstoppable. With a one-hour lead overall, the Chase Pack has their work cut out for them. The Austrians today really impressed me, uh, Silvio and Andreas. Despite their smaller size at the start on the flats, they just totally rode away from Team Rocky Mountain and from us. 
They, uh, they definitely deserve to be leading this race right now. The battle for second and third continues with Team Global Extreme within 15 minutes overall of Pete's Tofu Rocky Mountain. We rode with the Gears Extreme team for uh, the majority of the race up until the last 5K and uh, we just kept the pace up and uh, put a little bit of a gap on them in the last five kilometers of the race. But really, we, they rode very, very well today and, and it was great riding with them. It was great to ride together with for 140k. I think it was a bit of a mutual experience in pain today. Although Team Spot is in a commanding lead of four hours overall, the Canmore Moms continue to surprise everyone with their second place position. We got caught up in some intentionally in some fast groups, so we were really pushing it the whole time and I found it very hard. We were very happy with it. But it was beautiful. And the single track? Amazing. Mucho yeah. fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. I always say that when it's over. <laughs> when I'm on my bike, I'm like, oh, make it end. Three stages down, and I think it's gonna get even harder and rougher. It's like, who knows, you crack at any time, that's for sure.